NASA's giant new SLS moon rocket makes its debut. Rapid changes to the Arctic seafloor noted as submerged permafrost thaws, and scientists may have solved Stephen Hawking's black hole paradox. I'm Nidhi Kumar, and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's take you to story number one. Well, the American Space Agency has rolled out its new giant moon rocket for the first time. The vehicle known as the Space Launch System SLS was taken to Pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to conduct a dummy countdown on 17th of March. If that goes well, the rocket will be declared ready for a mission in which it will send an uncrewed test capsule around the moon. This could happen in the next couple of months. Ultimately, it's hoped that astronauts would climb aboard later SLS rockets to return to the moon's surface sometime in the second half of this decade. These missions are a part of what NASA calls its Artemis program. NASA's Artemis program will pave the way for humanity's giant leap to future missions to Mars. SLS is a colossus, a touch under 100 meter in height. It was designed to be more powerful than the Apollo Saturn vehicles of the late 1960s and the early 1970s. It will have the thrust to not only send astronauts far beyond Earth, but additionally so much equipment and cargo that those crews could stay away for extended periods. Thursday's rollout from Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building, VAB, is the rocket's debut in the sense that it's very first time everyone has got to see all its different elements fully stacked together. And with that, let's go on to story number two. Numerous peer-reviewed studies show that thawing permafrost creates unstable land which negatively impacts important Arctic infrastructure such as roads, train tracks, buildings and airports. This infrastructure is expensive to repair and the impacts and the costs are expected to continue increasing. About one quarter of the land in the northern hemisphere is permafrost or frozen ground. At the end of the last ice age, 12,000 years ago, melting glaciers and sea level rise submerged large swaths of permafrost. Until just recently, this submerged permafrost had been largely inaccessible to researchers. Using advanced underwater mapping technology, researchers and their collaborators revealed that dramatic changes are happening to the seafloor as a result of thawing permafrost. In some areas, deep sinkholes have formed some larger than a city block of six-story buildings. In other regions, ice-filled hills called pingos have risen from the seafloor, while the degradation of the terrestrial Arctic permafrost is partly attributed to increases in mean annual temperature from human-driven climate change, the changes the research team has documented on the seafloor associated with submarine permafrost derive from much older, slower climatic shifts related to our emergence from the last ice age. The new study from Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute Researchers and their collaborators is the first to document how the thawing of permafrost submerged underwater at the edge of the Arctic Ocean is affecting the seafloor. The study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences on March 14, 2022. And with that, let's take a look at story number three. And researchers may have solved Professor Stephen Hawking's famous black hole paradox, a mystery that has puzzled scientists for almost half a century. In 1976, Hawking suggested that as black holes evaporate, they destroy information about what had formed them. The idea goes against a fundamental law of quantum mechanics that states any physics process can be mathematically reversed. According to two new studies, something called quantum hair is the answer to the problem. In the first paper published in the journal Physical Review Letters, researchers demonstrated that black holes are more complex than originally thought and have gravitational fields that hold information about how they were formed. The researchers showed that matter collapsing into a black hole leaves a mark on its gravitational field, an imprint referred to as a quantum hair. The newly discovered quantum hair provides a way for information to be preserved as a black hole collapses and as such resolves one of modern science's most famous quandaries, experts say. And with this, we come to an end of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more exciting stories from the world of science next week. Until then, stay tuned to India Science. Namaskar.